Good day, my people. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber back at it again with another toy review starring Anakin Skywalker. Say hi. Say hi. You want to be in the video so much. And he turns his back and he shuns me. Okay, today we are doing a review of Commando Spawn. Um, bazooka fires missile, removable knife fits in hand. I do not see. Oh, there's knives. I didn't even notice the knives. America's best selling comic book. Well, back in the day. Okay, this is from. What year is this from? What year is this from? Do we have a year? We don't even have a year on here. Well, that blows. Oh, here we go. Okay, 1995. So, from year 1995. Here is the uh, Spawn Series uh, 1, which I have all these characters. I have Series 1. Go down here. Commando Spawn is, it doesn't say what he's a part of, but these, uh, I don't know. Would they be part of Series 2? I have no idea. Down below, uh, Spawn OD, uh, Mobile, <laughs> Violator, Monster Rig, Spawn Alley, um... And then Spawn Air Cycle. That's Spawn Air Cycle. That's the first time I've ever seen that. That thing looks pretty cool. And then there's the Violator Chopper. If I can find these, I would love to get these. I would love to get that Violator Chopper. That just looks so badass. Imagine putting a Ghost Rider on that baby. Oh, that would be so awesome. And that Spawn Air Cycle looks like something from Star Wars. That looks really, really, really cool. But anyways, back to... The figure himself. Um, yeah, one of the reasons why I wanted to review this guy is because um, the guns just look really, 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 really amazing. And I want to get them out the box and I want to get them in my paws. And there's my cat going crazy. Got the door open and he smells the fresh air and he's ready to party. And you can tell he's frisky because he's rubbing up against my spawn figure. He loves spawn. If you guys don't know, he's a big he's a big spawn uh, lover. Because technically he is, he is the spawn of Satan. So Okay. Um all right, enough yapperin', enough yammering. We're gonna go ahead and crack this baby open. There's my weights right here, so I'm gonna use my weight right here. As you can see, I'm very professional. I'm gonna put the camera right there, and then we're gonna break this baby open. From 1995, Commando Spawn. Ugh. Look it, look it here. And then here is, I guess, uh, a little catalog here. Let's see. Of all the, oh, okay, shows you of all the uh, collectible action figures. Pretty much what we saw on the back of the box, but in bigger format and it tells you the story of all these carrot of all these figures so yeah pretty cool pretty pretty cool now that i've seen that uh air spawn air cycle i definitely want that spawn air cycle and that violator chopper i will be searching for those items there's my cat loving up on spawn let's take a look at the figure first and then we'll take a look at the guns. Now this here's Commando Spawn. Um, let's check out. Uh, yeah, just looking at the box, he could tell he has no articulation in his arms whatsoever. Do not freaking bend. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. You think you couldn't give him uh, any bend in the elbow? And his arm is a little loose, and his thing popped off here. It has pegs, but I might have to glue it in because it's not going to stay in. But oh, and he's kind of got like a Spawn Punisher logo on his right shoulder. And then you move the mask down, and boom. Oh, I mean, he's a very, very cool figure, but oh. These arms, they are not articulated. They're just kind of at a pose. 
It's already pre-posed. Oh, I do not like that at all. Uh, the paint is a little messed up on his face, if you guys can see that. Oh, yeah, that's not a good thing. It's a little off, it's a little scratched up, and it's not even... Actually, it's not even even on his face. Oh, oh, I hate that. Yeah, he's he's going uh, up for sale, probably because of this right here. But then again, it doesn't even match up with his eye. That blows. Uh disappointing. Yeah, at least he has cool uh, boots, huh? I mean, overall, I mean, from the neck down, he's good, except for the arms and <laughs> the crooked face. It looked like he had a. Like Spawn had a stroke. Uh, yeah. I'm not really digging this character at all. I mean, he's very lightweight, too. He's not really that heavy. Boots are cool. Yeah, I, I might have to take him apart and then reuse maybe his torso and then get rid of his arms and that head. Yeah. I am not liking this at all. I mean, overall, like I said... His uh, torso, his legs, thigh area, they all look good. The arms, very disappointing because they're just kind of pre-posed statue. I mean, his arms don't look that bad. They're very sculpted very nicely. I love the watch watches on there. But overall, his arms are a disappointment. I'm going to have to replace them anyways because it's, it's like his left arm is little loose so you might have to pop off his head to find another head for him his body is good but the rest of him is just not i'm just not digging it i might have to uh do a little revamping up and then and then show you guys um the after you know uh, taking off his arms and taking off his head i can probably put a punisher head on there being that he kind of has like a punisher logo you know, Punisher, yeah, he put Punisher on here. He actually looked pretty good. My Punisher head sculpt on here. Yeah, he would look pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, this figure is pretty disappointing. You know what? Let's take a look at his guns. Maybe that would cheer me up. Ugh. So his guns are pretty cool looking. Um, here is, I guess, uh, for his knife. I don't know if you see his knife's. Oh, there is his missiles, too. I didn't realize he has a missile for the gun. Let's pop that out. And here's the knives. Pop the knives out. And there. Got tape on them, of course. And I guess one of the knives goes in here. Or should go in there. Maybe it doesn't. Or maybe it's this one. And it barely fits. Yeah, they give me a, a little holster here. And none of the knives fit in there. Um, let's see. Here's his... For his uh, ankle right here. Let's see if any knives fit in here. Probably this one would fit in there. Yep, that one fits in there. This one... Barely. Okay. So let's take a look at the gun. This... Right here, put the rocket in there. That's pretty cool. Let's see if this fires. Let me give you guys a better view of this. Here's the gun. Yeah, I really like the gun. Uh, let's see. Does it fire? Does it fire? Does it fire? Let me move my hand out of the way so you guys can see. I'm recording my hand. This is the new tour review starring my hand. Um. Hmm. Uh, how do I shoot it? I don't know how to shoot it. There's no really, there's no thing here. Hmm. Okay. I guess it doesn't shoot. <laughs> okay. How are you going to give me a gun that doesn't freaking shoot? Hold on one minute. Let me get a better, closer look at this gun. It doesn't shoot. Is there a firing? Oh, here we go. Okay. It's at the top. 
Okay, I barely even saw that. So it's right here. The button's right there. So there we go. It shoots very fine. Actually, it looks better without the missile itself. Very cool gun. It looks heavy, but it's actually pretty light. Take a look at this other gun. Yeah, this one looks really, really cool. Yeah, I would definitely would love to customize this, customize this figure because the head sculpt, the paint on it is all messed up and the arms are just too, ugh, they're just too stiff. Let's see if he holds these guns. So we'll put that one in there. And then we'll put this one in here. And that is another thing that blows because <laughs> when he holds the gun, let me see. He can't even hold this gun because maybe he holds it up here. Oh, that blows. Well, hold on, let's take this gun out. Let's put this gun in here. Yeah, it doesn't even... Man, because his arms are crooked, he can't really hold... Well, okay, I guess this would be maybe like a rocket launcher. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt here. But there he goes. His guns barely fit into his hands. And he's holding the gun crooked simply because his arm is crooked. And you can't articulate it because he has no elbow bend. It just His arm just kind of goes up and down and his gun is crooked. Yeah, that's one thing I hate about these arms. See? He has no elbow bend. Therefore, you can only move his arm up and down. It's already pre-posed. I mean, he looks good holding the gun. Yeah, but these arms are a disappointment. And that crooked face paint job is just a mess. And you can tell that it's a mess because he's got paint right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there on his forehead. So somebody messed up on his face painting his mask. Ugh. Mmm. All I can do is look at this figure in disappointment. Yeah, he, he's definitely going to be uh, broken down and f and Frankensteined and customized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, overall, like I said, torso, legs is good. Uh, but uh, the arms and the head, yeah. I'm pretty disappointed in this guy. I thought I would be a little excited if he had elbow bend. Yeah. But just the face sculpt kind of messes it up. Horrible face sculpt. Yeah. Like he woke up in the morning and put his mask on and, and put it on the wrong way. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, here's my rating. 1 to 10. Uh... I mean, because he's statue, he looks good holding the gun. If he put his thing over his face and cover up his face mask, I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, let's see. If you put this over, hold on one minute. Let me put this down real quick. If you put this on here, and then you put this over, or maybe, oh, it's upside down. Let's see. And his, and his thing doesn't even really stay on. I mean, if you put it down, sorry about that, if you put it down to cover up that horrible face, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It covers up that horrible paint job, so, but it's just, you can't get, you know, by the, the bad arms, still no articulation. Okay, all right, here we go. Uh, this video is already running too long on a bad figure. Uh, scale 1 to 10, I'm going to have to give him a 5. Yeah. I'm only giving him a five uh, because his the rest of his body can be salvaged. I can do something with the rest of his body. His arms and his head has got to go. Yeah, there you go, guys. That is my review of a very disappointing Commando Spawn from 1995. Yeah, I'd definitely give him a five. Maybe a four and a half. Probably one of the lowest rated figures I, I have rated. There you go, guys. If you like this review, like, comment, uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Flipagram, and I'll see you guys later.
Bye. Bye, Anakin.